If you're like me, you woke up Friday morning, you check the internet as normal. What happened while I was sleeping? Everybody knows what happened already. They identified two suspects. One was killed in a shootout and the other one was running loose in a residential neighborhood. He was deemed armed and dangerous. Hmm, why does anybody need a semi-automatic gun anyway? Oh, I don't know. When there's a guy at large in your neighborhood who may be a deranged terrorist killer that indiscriminately bombs innocent people, you're gonna want more than a butter knife. Crazy, unexpected, is this really happening right now? Situations do happen. That's why it's so important to be able to defend your family because relying on the police to just magically show up every time you're in trouble, not very smart. From the pictures, Watertown looked like a war zone. It looked more like Baghdad than everyday sunny suburb in America. Downright creepy. There are conflicting reports on how the house searches were done. I don't want to say anything that's not true, but it's disturbing to see the number of people who said, what's the big deal? As long as they don't have anything to hide, they shouldn't have a problem with it. Well, protecting people's privacy, that's kind of important. The nothing to hide argument assumes that privacy is all about hiding bad things. It's not. If you have nothing to hide, would you feel comfortable with a stranger without your permission going through your bathroom, checking out your medicine cabinet, checking out your bedroom, checking out your underwear drawer? If you have nothing to hide, how would you feel about your internet browsing history being broadcast on the local news? Would your grandparents approve of your Google searches? Mm-hmm. You may not be a criminal, but there are some stuff you'll want to keep to yourself. Another disturbing thing was the number of people who were saying, Kill him, burn him, dismember him. Oh uh, no. I'm very thankful that the police officers showed a stray and got him alive. They didn't go all LAPD style and set everything on fire. Because innocent until proven guilty is a principle of American justice. Remember, this guy is a U.S. citizen caught on U.S. soil. He's a suspect. He hasn't been convicted of anything. Even if all signs show that this person committed that crime, there's solid, undisputable evidence. Everyone should get a fair trial and everyone should be read their rights. Because sometimes innocent people get accused of doing crimes they didn't do. And before you comment, I am not a liberal, hippie, anti-American communist. All of this is in the U.S. Constitution, okay? We must defend our civil liberties at all times, even scary times. That's when they're the most important. And anyone calling for the U.S. to invade another country because of the Boston bombing? Really? 